lots of hatred, lots of secrets, lots of romance, the devil or not, the hell or not. I got nightmares in my head, I fear, that the thoughts build up until I can't hear. That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety filling up every space He took the gun from me and slapped me He said something which I bet was not nice The door banged open and Dixon grabbed me and put the gun on my head If you want her alive then stay there, June Or should I say, devil He spoke, I regained my consciousness At the mention of the devil He's here, he's here, I told myself and managed to open my eyes. And there he was. A tear made its way as I saw him. He spared me a quick glance and then to him. Lorenzo, get your filthy hands off her. Jungkook snarled. They both were arguing. Lorenzo was speaking. I took out the blade, which was in my hand all the time. He was distracted. I took it to his face and cut him on the face. He loosened his grip on me and I managed to get out as a hold. I was about to fall. And Jungkook caught me. I heard a shot and he was down. No, not, Jungkook said, making me smile and my vision became blurry. And then everything blacked out. Chapter 23 Jungkook, are you ready, Hang? I asked my Hang, sitting in the car aloft, itching for some shedding, bunny. Jim and Hang spoke. We all seven are enough to take Lorenzo down. Jinang hacked the motion detector and we got out of the car. Fully loaded with our toys, we passed the gate quietly. One thing we must praise is that Lorenzo is into tech, but that thus downfall is the tech because we have got the brains with us. We entered ever so quietly and took down the guards with our silencer guns. He's high in tech, that is why his guards are kind of reluctant. What a shame. We took down 21 guards, three each. We scattered in places, some the set the alarm and his man alerted and that's when the real real fun begins hi and keep that for me i spoke we all were connected to our bluetooth we started firing nam jinhang to a grenade guys get down he warned the front of his fourth dress is now barren damn juni that was quick shugang spoke is everyone all right i asked and their response came in a unit Kid, you better focus on your wine, the nuts. Then Hein spoke. Okay, Hein, I said. I heard gunshots as we entered the hall. It was from the basement. My limbs froze at a negative thought. Junker, get your ass moving. Then Hein spoke. I shake the negative thought and fire shot with my gun. I was out of bullet when two men approached me and I went to them. They aimed their guns at me and I rolled on the ground. They aimed at the floor, but I quickly moved and their throats were oozing blood before they could even realize that I took out my knife from my ankle. On my right, Ho behind was taking the two guys. He uses guns very less. He likes to break bones rather than put a hole. Putting a hole is kind of polite in his theory for his enemies. He grabbed their throats, taking them to the wall. With the existing pressure, he shifted his index and thumb on their heart point and snapped them, making those big holes limp in his grip. Everyone down, Jimmy Hunt spoke as he did a court will, taking me by surprise and fired in all the places, taking down six men at least. Whoa, Jimmy the Papo, that was cool, then complimented. Everyone was done with the opponents and I was holding on one to ask him where he had my wine. I grabbed the guy by his throat and barked. Where is she? I don't know, he lied. I shot his leg with my gun that I loaded earlier. I won't ask again, I barked again. But basement. He stuttered, just swing to the right. I heard a gunshot again. The negative thoughts were hitting me like a truck. I ran to the right side. Going down the stairs, I saw so many doors. I again heard a gunshot and I followed the sound instinctively. I saw a door open and went inside in a rush. Wine was on the ground bleeding, but Lorenzo got her aiming the gun at her. Stay there or she will be in red. He barked. I paused on my action. Leave her, I barked. What do you think? Am I a fool? She's my golden bird. Life doesn't give many chances to rule the dove. He spoke smirking. I straightened up, clenching my jaw. How do you think I know? He asked. I didn't say anything, just glaring at him as if my glare would put a hole in his useless body. 
coward hiding behind wine. Let me tell you. Remember you killed the mafia when you married her? He asked. I forgot my bros. He was my freaking brother. He was there to get her to me. I would make her mine. You know, I have an obsession to ring the pretty things, to make them ugly and lifeless. I wanted to give her a taste of slavery and misery. You know, I used to keep her loaded in her office to elevate that misery. But she got the walls of steel. She was supposed to be ruined and then you married her and she bloomed like a flower. And also because of her, my brother died by your hand. She will taste that sense of pain and misery. I want to see pain and fear in her eyes. He spared his venom and started laughing like a manic. You can't save her from me. You can't. I will leave this place and she will go with me or she will die with me. He barked. My devil was telling me to attack him, but my love was screaming not to. I was in a dilemma when I saw wine taking the blade out. Lorenzo, leave her, I barked, distracting him. In your, he was speaking when wine slid his skin on the face. That's my girl. I took her in my arms before she fell and my hind shot him in the guts. I looked at her worriedly and she passed me a smile. She's a mess. They tortured her. My love, I'm so sorry. I took out my gun and aimed it at him. This is for my family and my wine. I spoke and shot him between his eyes. And a wave of relief, a burden was lifted from my shoulders. I scooped wine in my arms and took her out of this hell. She is not well. Her breathing is not normal. Stay with me, Munanj. Please, just stay with me. Chapter 24 Wine. I opened my eyes. Everything was blurry and my whole body hurt like it was hit by a truck. My vision gets clear and I close my eyes again. A whimper escaped my mouth as I tried to move. My ribs hurt so much. A warm yet rough hand cupped my cheek and the familiar feel caused me to sink into the hand. I opened my eyes and his beautiful face was there, hovering over mine. He was there. I looked around and it was a different place, but he was near me. I lifted my hand to touch him. Munanj. He spoke, sending waves of comfort in my insides. A soap left my lips and tears made their way from my eyes to the side of my face. It's alright, you are with me, you are safe in my arms. He comforted me. Jungkook. I whispered and fisted his shirt in my tiny hands. Shh, it's all right, I'm here. He tried to calm me down. I fought Jungkook, I did. I spoke in between my sobs. I saw that, Munanj, and I'm proud of you for that. He gave me a peck on my forehead and I closed my eyes, severing the warmth of his warm lips on my skin. I'm a mess and I know that, but he's still here with me. My ribs hurt when I sniff. He made me sit up. I will get you some juice, he spoke, turning around. No, I whined tears again, brimming up in my eyes. Hey, hey, are you scared? He asked worriedly. No, I just want you near me. I spoke in a broken voice. He sat next to me and hugged me from my side. I'm right here, Nanch. He kissed my temple. He called someone and asked for some juice. I want brownie as well, I spoke, pouting. Okay, he chuckled. You heard that you want brownie as well. You better hurry up or this feisty queen will eat me, surely. He said to someone on the phone, Hey, I whined, hitting him softly. He hung up and I made an angry pout. He grabbed my chin in his soft yet rough grip and made me look at him. He gave me a peck on my pouty lips and caressed my cheeks. You have any idea how much in these five days I have missed you? I went freaking lunatic when you were kidnapped. Two days. You were away from me and I went crazy. I missed you like a mad person. The rest of the three days you kept me hanging. I was longing to see your eyes, to hear you speaking. You had a nasty fever for two days. You have two broken ribs, cuts on your neck and nasty lashes on your back. He spoke, stirring deep in my soul. You saw them? I asked and he nodded. I was kind of embarrassed and he felt my voice tip. You are mine, Manaj. Mine to love. Mine to devour. Mine to feel. Mine to hurt. Mine to laugh. You are mine from head to toe. And this devil is yours. Your one command and he will be on his knees for you. He quoted, looking straight in my eyes. I shivered from his intoxicating words, absorbing me. 
I'm yours, Tianjunkuk, I whispered, his eyes twinkled. I love you, my demon, 